Big Boy's Big Neighborhood. Boy. All righty now. Beautiful day in the neighborhood, yeah, man. man. D.L. Hughley is in Woo. the neighborhood, man. D.L., I am so glad you came into the neighborhood. There is too much to talk about. Oh, it's a lot. Man, <laughs> people done gave us so much low-hanging yes. fruit yes. Yes. that I yes. don't know. We, we're going to get into some of the big headlines. Right. And so, I just want to really just kind of take your temperature so, on what's going on in the so, big headlines. So. But first off, we got to give you another round of congratulations. <laughs> you stay working, bro. Yeah, man. I uh, better. Now, what, what, what's the new relationship with the, te- with the t- TV well, show? We got, we got a TV show that's based on the radio show. Yeah, and man. It's a night show. And uh, we it's, it's called the D.L. Hughley Show that comes on uh, at 11 uh, Eastern, 8. Eight Pacific, and we do it every four nights a week, and have a lot of guests on, and talk a lot of shit. Yeah, do you feel like like this is a, another outlet for you to to daily say what's I on your the, mind, right? Well, because you know, on the radio, you get to do it, but yeah. I think it's just another medium. Like it's not too much different than you. It's just another medium. Yeah, man, uh, another box to check off. But it, I, I dig having these conversations. I think. I think we learned uh, what not to say in society, and I think as a result, society doesn't ever really get a true sense of itself. Right. Everybody's always you're not deal. You're not afraid of of the battle, or I you're, am, you're not. I am afraid, but I'm just not. I'm more afraid of not being. I'm more afraid of what I think of me than what you think of me. Ah, <laughs> that's dope. I'm more afraid, like, and uh, let like, me ask you this, man. Just as as a comedian, and not even because uh, as a comedian, as a person of today. But first, I go with comedy. Right. Comedy used to be a safe zone sure. comedians could say you know anything like oh that's dark but that's right. what we went to right. for comedy right do you feel now that there are extreme handcuffs on comedians i think that if you allow them to be there it's like you know uh how rats uh, you know when they came up with the concept for the project what they would they would put these walls around the rats and after they even after they removed the walls the rats yeah. thought it was still there yeah hey man i'm not i'm not getting ready to let society tell me how not only does society of course a, 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 you know, a society, an involved society should control action. Right. Mm-hmm. You know, you shouldn't be able to do whatever you want. Right. But you should be able to think whatever you want. Mm. Now they want to control your thought. Why did you mm. even think that? Like Liam Neeson, you know, told that mm. story about how he got mad and wanted to be a black dude up. He didn't do it. He told you he wanted to do right. it. Right. We lost mm-hmm. our they minds with that right, one. Right, right. And who haven't wanted to slap shit of a nigga? Like everybody right, wants right, to do that right, before. Right. And we're going to get into some of these big headlines. And don't forget the D.L. Hughley Show airs Monday through oh, yes. Thursday, Woo! 11 p.m. on TV One. And you do things just like this, man. You get a chance sure. to dive into mm-hmm. some of these big headlines. Right. We were talking about um, R. Kelly. Right. All righty. I'm just going to throw R. Kelly in the air for the big headlines. J- R. Kelly, I, I, I watch Surviving R. Kelly. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think, you know, obviously the kid. I think he's a pedophile. I think OJ's a pedophile. I think Michael, I mean, uh, uh, not OJ, uh, Elvis was a pedophile. Mm-hmm. I think, you know, we don't even need to have sex registries anymore. And we just follow Nick's music, music class. Yeah, because like, like, sometimes it's right there. It's it's catalog. Like, I mean, because deviant people are fairly dope. Like, right. like good people make shitty music. Right, right. You got to have, you gotta have be, what you saying? You got to have a little darkness. You, uh, you got to come through something. Paul, Pat Boone, I don't want to hear that. But, right. But I think if you're mad at R. Kelly, you got to be mad at Michael Jackson. They're the same type of people. Mm-hmm. And, uh, and you know, whether we we can argue about whether you believe they did it or not, I think one thing that's not debatable, mm-hmm. they were great singers, but shitty babysitters. Right, like, yeah. Know, Y'all would not drop my kids you, off. Damn, you ain't going to their You daycare. bring up Elvis Presley. There's some yeah. people that probably listen and say, why is he bringing up Elvis Presley? Because he Presley? married Please. a 14-year-old girl. Talk about that. And he was a grown man and, ma- and, and married a 14-year-old girl. He was he was R. He was R. Kelly with a, Aaliyah. Yeah. Yeah. I, you know, and and I still I, I still fuck I still think they're dope artists. I still listen to their music. And see, black people, we we can't just throw stuff away just because we don't like them. Like we grew up, and bread was moldy. You cut that part off yeah, and kept yeah, the you rest. Yeah, pissed it yeah, off. Yeah. Real. So I, people are like, how could you sing R. Kelly and Michael Jackson songs after all the evil stuff they've done? The same way I can sing the national anthem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Anthem. Wow. <laughs> you you can't. I'll cancel Michael Jackson when y'all cancel Andrew Jackson. That's, really? that's not a hey, word for me. Hey man, <laughs> do you feel like America? Like I, I see you at the airport on TMZ or sure. something like that. Do you feel like they love what comes out of D.L. Hughley's mouth because? I, it, it almost seems unfiltered, uncensored, and, and it's in and, and, and they real. always catch me when I'm exhausted and getting off a plane. Right. And, and before, and I, it's just like they know they always come like a thief in the night. Yeah, oh, yeah. Right. get them now. Right. Perfect timing. <laughs> it's almost like your intoxication. Right, right, right. right. <laughs> He's tired. Yeah, I was. Him. Yeah, he's exhausted. Yeah. But you ask, I don't really think that I say too many things I don't mean. Right. Yeah. Yeah. And I don't really think 
it is provocative to have a thought that's divergent from the group. And Dio, you never leave and be like, damn, why did I say that? Right, nope. Oh, right. I, no, I do do that, but then I go, because I meant it. Right, <laughs> like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll yeah. ask myself the question, but often I answer what I Had you ever met R. Kelly? Of course, I worked right. with him a couple times. Okay, mm. and and those are things, people get upset when you did have a relationship with someone as well. Well, you know what? I worked with him, mm. and I still thought he was a, a pedophile then. So right. it wasn't, you know, but he, I, I was on a gig, and he was on a gig. It wasn't, you know, it wasn't like we were hanging out. Smoking. Did you learn more with surviving R. Kelly, no, or did it kind of just... I think it says it more you. about society that we had to wait for a documentary to demonstrate what we already knew. Mm-hmm. Like, everybody knew that he married a 14-year-old, 15-year-old girl. Everybody knew he liked young girl. Everybody knew it, but it took a documentary. Like, I've watched three documentaries about pedophiles. Uh, what, what, uh, abducted in plain sight. Oh, mm-hmm. Lord have mercy, man. I watched Surviving R. Kelly, and I watched Leaving, Leaving Neverland. Neverland. Apparently, it's I'm I'm so old school. I still like grown women. <laughs> yeah, 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 you know what I'm saying? What the hell wrong with us? <laughs> Here I am coming home to my 40 year old wife. Right. Like, what the hell is going on I, with I, me? Yeah. I like I like women that had kids, so I'm yeah. into recycling. Right, you yeah, know what I'm saying? Man, like, what, <laughs> what is wrong with you? What's your thought on um the whole parents involvement in all of this? Well, I think that those parents those parents sacrifice them up to monsters. Mm-hmm. But it's a lot of people to do it. Whether you you know. Whether you send your kids to Penn State and you knew what the coaches were doing, whether mm-hmm. cap- there are a thousand Catholic priests right now we know molested children, mm-hmm. and none of them are in jail. Mm-hmm. Like one dude said, he was molested by his priest for the time he was 18, 13 to the time he was 28. If your priest still knocking you off at 28, you got a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like, you got to do you something. Gotta go huh? together. But I think we have, it's, it's, it's not hard. Um, to demean somebody and to prosecute somebody when they wear when they pop their collar, but it is when they wear one. And I mm. think that they, but you the, the the constant thing between all those people is parents who are willing to look the other way for a long time. Yeah, like man. you know something wrong with if your child is acting out of the norm or you know or, or pulling back or don't want to be touched or Shy. you know that something happened. And I think knowing something is always easier than saying it out loud, but it's always. Different when you conjure up the specter of somebody you think does that kind of stuff, it's always somebody that looks like a monster, and more, more times yeah, than not, it looks it's like not. your neighbor. Big headlines. Let's do a uh, Jussie Smollett. He's, oh, the, he's the luckiest black dude in court since OJ. Man, 16. I, yeah. I, I wonder, is he going to uh, offer a reward to find the real assaulter? Hey, Amen. Exactly. The, 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 the same Yo. way. Remember OJ said, yeah. I'm going to spend the rest of my life finding the killer. Remember he went and washed mm-hmm. his hands and looked in the mirror and said, yeah. there he is. <laughs> <laughs> I, found, <laughs> I found him. <laughs> well, I guess I'm going to have to write the check for this reward. Here's <laughs> the thing. I, I, I think that... First off, for that story to be plausible, it had to be a whole lot. It had to be two dudes sitting at home mm. in Chicago, 18 degree weather. Go, I'm hungry. Well, let's go to Subway. At, <laughs> at well, get, get, get my MAGA hat and my noose and my bleach. What for? In case we could run across that nigga from Empire. Yeah, like, that's yeah. What, that's, <laughs> at two in the morning, yeah, I just want a sandwich at oh, damn near 40 below zero right. wind chill factor. And then, and so then, and, and then them Nigerians. They told right away, didn't they? Oh, my they God. Were, they they didn't they wait. Did. Come on, man. Right? <laughs> Let me tell you what happened. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Right? <laughs> I see you about to put the handcuffs on me. Right. But before you do Cop so, please. Chopper. No, hell no. Yeah. Hell no. Yeah. The, the thing Jesse did to the system what the system offered, I, I don't think he should have went to jail. No. I definitely think he committed the crime. Right, right, but right. I don't right. think he should have went to jail because it, it, it's not, you'll see some, some kid uh, you know, some that Brock Turner who raped somebody behind a dumpster. Yes. Yeah. They'll say they don't want to mess his life yeah. up and he don't go to jail. So, mm-hmm. And I, I'm not saying you should get away just because, but I think that the judicial system should ha- be more uh, inclined to give somebody a break when they're a person of color. He didn't kill anybody. Did he it. should make restitution. It should be. But for Jesse to walk around talking about he didn't do it, I mean, come on now. Right. If you didn't what do it. What happened? Here's I'm what wondering I what you. happened. I can't. Yeah. I can't tell you what happened. But he says he was a gay Tupac, right? He right. said he was an advocate, right? He, he himself said that. If you're an advocate and somebody got away with that, then why aren't you looking for them exactly. to protect the people that look just like you, who can then mm-hmm. be further brutalized by that? Yeah, man. If, they if don't have advocate, the platform. If you're an advocate, you don't advocate for just you. So that's how I know you bullshit. Mm-hmm. Either you bullshit about being an advocate, or you bullshit about being attacked. So mm-hmm. you can't have them both ways. Man, mm-hmm. and we were ready to go too, man. Because one of those things, DL. Was bad enough. Being called all out your name. I'm talking about yeah. just one. Ba- yeah. Bad enough. All of them. Uh, the MAGA hat. You know, oh, yeah. the, uh, the homophobic slurs, the bleach, the news. Like, so when he put mm-hmm. all those together, he lucky we didn't turn up, and turn up. And, and at the same time, 
he was doing that at the same time America was fixated on on, on Jesse Smollett or Jesse Small Eyes. Yeah. Um, Hello. <laughs> They were led. It was a, a lieutenant commander. It was a lieutenant in the Coast Guard who was stockpiling weapons and and and, and get, trying to start a race war. Mm-hmm. At the very same time, a a we a black over man here. was per, had perpetrated an imaginary attack. He was plotting a real one, and it never made the news. This is a dude in lieutenant. He's a lieutenant in the Coast Guard who stockpiled weapons and chemical weapons and wanted to kill all the black people on the, on earth. Oh my God. And he was arrested a week it. before and we never heard about wow. it. Wow. And that's the thing. It's the, it's the shiny object here. I'm sad that, well, first off, I think, Jesse, like I said before, if he if somebody did that and you are an advocate and you care about people, like you, you, if you're the gay Tupac and that, that's, your, that's your get down, you have an obligation and responsibility mm-hmm. To put up the money and find out who did it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Not just yeah. to clear your name, but to keep people who are like you safe. But if it, if it was just about you getting off, uh, I mean, look, it's a lot of people that did it, didn't go to Casey Anthony did it, she didn't go to jail. Right, right, right. Speak Zimmerman on Zimmerman did it, he didn't go to jail. Right. Donald Trump did it, he didn't go to jail. Mm. You know, OJ did it. He, it. Ain't it funny, the same people are saying Donald Trump, you know, is exonerated, are the same people that wanted OJ retried again. Right. So it's, it's like we can't, we can't vacillate our perspective. We can't say... I believe what Jesse did is wrong. I, th- I never think, I, and I think anybody who does anything like that should do community service and, or, or or fine. But I don't think you got to go to jail. And I think what do you think about felonies, the sixteen? Yeah, that's the ridiculous. sixteen felony. And they said literally that he got charged for pretty much how you told the story. So if I told I day, I said, hey, you know, this is what happened to yep. me. Then she was like, man, mm-hmm. tell DL. I'm like, DL, yeah. this is what happened. Then Natalia walk in, like, wait, what happened? I right. say, oh, well, then mm-hmm. now I got three right. felonies. Mm-hmm. We got 16 candles and 16 lives. Yeah. So, it's, uh, so they, dumb. The DL Hughley Show airs Monday through Thursday, 11 p.m. on TV One. And don't forget, man, the great book, How Not to Get Shot. Yeah. I'm writing that, a new book right now. Uh-oh. It's called... <laughs> it's called Surrender White People. I'm making a peace treaty between America and people of color. Surrender white people. <laughs> yes. Are you serious? I'm not what is surrender white well, people? As much as you can give to us. As, as I'm writing right tomorrow, I'll start writing for the first day. But it's, it's these, all these things we need to do. So, you know, because in the end, uh, we, we have a tumultuous past mm. and we're trying to move forward. In the end, most couples. If you want to move forward, you go to counseling. Yeah, you got to have some but kind you of have to have some peace. You have to have some peace treaty. You got to say, well, this is, you got to say you sorry for this and this is what we'll You got to surrender. And this is the comedic kind of vantage point on that. So at the end of this, they're going to say this. Is uh, America ready for, no, for but, surrender? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm ready for a New York Times bestseller. Again. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm, I'm ready to get it out there, man. I am ready to get it out there. I do have to ask you, man. Now, you you don't hold your tongue when it comes to Donald Trump. So no. big headlines, man. This this man create headlines. He does. He's a Teflon Don. No, he's not. No, oh, no he's not. Okay, I think the, the central, uh, the the, uh, the the Southern District of New York is is going to get him. Mm-hmm. I think that there was a you know uh, a Department of Justice dire- directive uh, memorandum that said you that you can't prosecute a sitting president because it would be too distracting for the country. So I can understand when they did they didn't. They, they, here's the thing. Barr was his, the dude he repla- who replaced Jeff Sessions. Dig it, right? Mm-hmm. But he got rid of Sessions. Why? Because Sessions did not protect him as president, right? right. But why would you bring in a dude who wouldn't, who would do the same thing? Right, 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 right. You brought in a guy who would give you the result you wanted. The lookout. A, a, and the other, that guy had done it before with George Bush uh, Sr. He had, he had urged George Bush to pardon people that could have implicated him in some crime. Mm. So it, it, it so to me, I, and plus I've never seen this report. You told me what was in it. It's like have you ever? The reason we have this report and the reason we have dash cams, police officers, because there's mistrust amongst each other. Right. Mm-hmm. Imagine, imagine them. This is exactly the same thing. Imagine policemen. There's 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 been a shooting, and I show you everything except the actual shoot. I let you see the car. Yeah, That's yeah. That's exactly yeah. what's going on here. Pulling up. Yeah. You know. I what saw saying? all that and what happened after, but I never so. So to me, America is old. A look at that report because we have it. Will we see the report? Of course. I think eventually we'll. I think they'll subpoena um, Mueller. Somebody will leak it. They'll mm-hmm. get a copy. L- listen, here's how you know Donald Trump is a bullshit artist and a liar. How's if that? that Trump, if that report exonerated him, you wouldn't be able to stop him from tweeting. Right, out. right, 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 right. He put that, out. put those pages out. Right, put the he whole thing. it that night. Yeah, man. And and, and if if it is that you have it, if you the harder he fights to keep America from seeing it, 
the more likely it's not a result he wants us to know mm-hmm. about. Mm-hmm. So you can tell. Don't tell me that. It's like if your bro I catch you and you let, let you see, I'll, see, I'll let you see her text. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let me hold it. Let me hold it. Yeah. Yeah. No, no, no. I'll swipe it for I'm you. I'm scroll down yeah. here. Read this one. This uh-huh. is like that's your daughter. Like, yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. that's who I'm about. Yeah. I'm about my folks. Yeah. I don't have nobody yeah. on my phone. Who's cinnamon? <laughs> what do you mean? That's my daughter want me to go pick up cinnamon. Spice. You don't know cinnamon. How bad has the country been since Donald Trump? Being in office to <laughs> you. Let me tell you something. The, the, the thing, even this is not just me. The, the, there is incidences of racial incidences and bigotry have gone up exponentially yeah, since man. he's been in office. They say like two over two hundred percent. And we're doing well financially. Usually, the broker you get, the matter you get. Mm-hmm. Right. What does it say about a country right now that is doing as well as we are financially and still ginning up hate? Mm-hmm. Imagine Hitler came to power because the economy was depressed. People were mad and looking for somebody to blame. Who do you blame when you're doing as well as you can do? It is it is sheer hatred. And the country doesn't feel good about itself. Even the mood of the country is different. Mm-hmm. So if you're making bread, you know, unemployment's low, you, you're making bread, and you're still angry, there is a class. I, even the people that like Donald Trump like him because he makes other people feel bad. Mm-hmm. Not because he made, he, look how the way he talks to those black people and these Mexicans and these gays. He doesn't. He makes other people feel bad. He doesn't. He, he doesn't inspire you. Right. Yeah, man. Oh, how how do you feel about the wall, immigration thing? Let me like tell you that. something, man. The the thing that's funny for me is that we're supposed to be afraid of immigrants. These people are walking from Central America to the United States on foot in the quest of freedom, and we think we the shit when we get ten thousand steps on Fitbit. You yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. <laughs> beep, 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 beep. Oh, you know what I'm saying? I burned two hundred fifty calories. Yeah. Well, Let me go give me a juice. This. Carlos burned through two pairs of shoes. Yeah. yeah. Let me go give me a juice. It's it's more. Well, immigrants are coming to America and they're killing Americans. More Amer- Americans literally die from romaine lettuce than immigrants. Mm. It ain't Caesar you need to be worried about. His is salad. So what I, didn't, a, <laughs> I don't get it. What about when you see how it says this is the face, the look of terrorism, and it, it just have all these mm. Caucasian Listen, people I'm pictures. more Damn immigrants in the caravan. I'm more white, worried about white dudes in the minivan. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, right. We are afraid of the wrong thing. The most dangerous thing on earth is angry, disenfranchised white guys. And you know why? Because they use the N-word when it comes to them. Normal. Mm. It's normal. He was a normal guy before yeah. right. any grown bullying man. got yeah. him to where right, he, right. he was. He was bullied because he was an overweight kid, right. and mm-hmm. now he goes shoot fifty. Let me 50 tell you, people. Well, 50, white 50 dudes Muslims. don't get no pussy. Trouble soon follows. You mm. think what I'm saying? <laughs> we Damn. need to. We need to get every every like get them laid. Get, get a laid, laid card. Everybody should get a Tinder account. Yeah. <laughs> you know, or a grinder whenever you get that. Medicaid, uh-huh. Get them laid. You know? <laughs> right, right, right. What did you think when uh, the New Zealand prime minister came out and said like we're going to ban assault rifles after their match? Of course. Do you know that more Americans since the 60s have died at the hands of other Americans that have died in all the wars we've ever fought combined? Whoa, more man. Americans have been killed by Americans that died in all the wars we've ever mm-hmm. fought combined. And we, we accept the premise that that is the price of freedom. Yeah. That that's what it costs. It is not. Mm. And if it is, it's too high a cost to pay. If, if, if we are going to let, we let our children, when, when I knew God left America, well, I don't think God was ever here. That's a that's hyperbolic, but when I knew we had lost whatever moral standing we had, when we let all those children get shot and every, then rather than do something about it and stand here, we pretended like it didn't happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. If you don't care about little white kids in the suburbs getting gunned then down, we don't five have years, a chance. Then huh? nobody yeah. has a chance. Yeah. Nobody. Yeah. USC, the yeah. scandal, and then then mm. they put Dr. Dre's name in it. That's as so well. dumb. Right. <laughs> Go ahead. You know, now. my daughter yeah, so went dumb. to went to Smith and USC, and mm-hmm. I told my daughter, I said, you got to work hard uh, because. Uh, you got to work hard and, and, and study hard and apply yourself. And if you get in, I'll pay for it. And she did get in. Mm-hmm. Come to ter- c- come to find out, I could just say she was on the road team and bribed some motherfuckers. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and got with, in, in with less heartache. You know what I'm saying? It, it, Probably would have cost the same. If I uh, Now, we live in a good neighborhood. Right? Mm-hmm. It has a great school district mm-hmm. right? with caring teachers and abundant resources. right? So yes, you've sir. given your children not only what you didn't have, but what you didn't know. Right, right. right. You've exposed them to that. That's your gig as a parent. If your kids, after all that was given to them and all those resources, can't muster up uh, enough integrity and strength and intelligence to pass a test to get to college, 
then then I'm not cheating for you. Oh, they don't deserve right. it either. Right. You know, black black people be like, uh, we know our kids. We know all of them ain't the same. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Some, yeah. No, he ain't getting in there. We have a college. <laughs> <of us. laughs> he ain't getting in there. Some we save for college. Some we save for bail. Yeah, yeah. You know, <laughs> hey, man, it's realistic. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah, he good, man. What about her? Um, Daddy, um, yeah, I want to go to college. Nigga, you know you ain't going to college. <laughs> you better get real for me with that broom. <laughs> like, you better get your ass out of here. But, <laughs> but what is it? it? It says, and the thing that's insulting, is not only were you born with a silver spoon in your mouth, mm. but you want the knife, the fork, and the napkin too. Mm. You want every advantage. And what they tell us is that these degrees mean something. Like, you, if you if you go into corporate America, you got a degree from USC and you got a degree from Ho- Howard. They're going to look at the degree from USC. USC. Because, but the person in Howard probably worked harder than the person from USC. Mm. Right. But, but having said that, D- Dr. Dre... If you give a school $70 million, Come on. all your fucking kids are supposed to go there. Yes. Yeah. I know. I, I, I sh- he should be able to get me in. Are you kidding? You know what I'm saying? Just on the hookup. Yeah. It's like, like, hey, man. Like, if you got doctor in your name, Dr. Pepper should yeah, be able to get you know, in. Yeah, man. If we now Dr. Seuss, is yeah. there a Dr. That's right. Seuss here? That's a whole different. What I resented is they tried to conflate the two. Mm-hmm. He didn't cheat to get his kids no. in. He didn't make somebody take a test. He didn't lie, say they were on the team. Yep. He put his name on a building. And when you put your name on buildings, the only reason people put their name on buildings is to is for vanity and so their kids can go there. Yeah, mm-hmm. man. And, and, and you continue pay legacy, legacy that's bro. Right. Come on now. He didn't hide it. So. I got the, he yeah, didn't, why wouldn't he? Didn't hide he, it. he went even right went even to USC the is like, hey, leave him alone. Yeah, you yeah. got that right. <laughs> <laughs> the Trojan comes out of this building. <laughs> yeah, like, man, hell you yeah. Know what? He I, now the Trojan. Yeah. And the condom, too. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah. In a major way. If yeah. I was Dr. Dre, I would invite your motherfuckers to my building and then kick them out. Get yeah. the fuck out of my <laughs> With that bullshit. And your starting quarterback, Andre Dr. <laughs> oh, Dre God. Young. I was like, man, let me just start one game. Yeah. 70 million. He is a testament. Here's the thing. What This is what people don't understand. Everybody was like, how, did, how come he didn't give money to... to to black college. Yeah, black Howard. And it's his money. He could do what he yeah. want to do. Don't you love when people tell you what to do with yeah, your money? I, I, I got mm-hmm. a wife, so of course. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Get on out on the road. <laughs> hey. Hustle, nigga. Hustle. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Why are you home on right, a Thursday? Right, right. <laughs> These Fendi's. Are, okay, we wear Fendi. <laughs> yeah, yeah, man. Because we can't, we can't wear Burberry, Koopal. Gucci. We can't wear Gucci. Gucci. Yeah. Oh, Prada, please. I think too. Prada, please don't mm-hmm. let the dollar store fuck up. Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> hey man, how do you feel about the the Gucci, you know, boycott, boycott the okay. Prada boycott, the boycott? I think that if you're going to boycotts traditionally were to affect change, mm-hmm. what is it you want from them? Right, right. It, it's not just to exact some measure of revenge; it's to affect change. Black people, whether people like this or not, set the tone. For fashion and style and trends, trends they set the trends. Mm-hmm. That should if you if your goal is to not only change the fashion industry but to get young designers, or right, right, making them aware. Because I think more than anything else, people wear the shit they designers like that. They don't they don't make commercials. Right, mm-hmm. you see them on people at, on award yeah. shows, mm-hmm. and it, it, somebody dope. On yeah, so, we are yeah. the billboard. So yeah. that's right. So wh- it would be foolish for them to fuck that up by Dude, insulting lyrics. people. They are just people who are or disconnected from another culture. Their culture is all these dudes that look like them, European dudes. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is fine. We don't. They don't have to hear any other dissenting voices. So I think it's foolish to believe that they would do this. Just to insult people, right, right. When but you man, didn't think that was blackface. Oh, deal? I did think. It was okay, blackface. yeah, yeah. But I didn't think. I don't you think, think that, the I don't, intent. I don't. I think that they're, they're like most people. Like most people who don't have to be aware of something, they're not mm. disconnected. Mm. They, they and they get to be. They get to be obtuse. They get to be oblivious. And it should be that we seek to change. Will you wear a Gucci shirt on stage tonight? Well, no. I what? mean, if I was gonna wear yeah, it, it's right. my. It's already like if I could play R. Kelly music, I could wear my you Gucci wear your slides. Gucci. Gotcha. Goddamn it! Yeah. Right, so 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 you would, you would be at the pool. I just wouldn't do them together. Got your Gucci slides on. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and she was more like you put them on. Like, right. <laughs> like this dude want to ban himself. Yeah. I do have to ask you about uh, your thoughts on Colin Kaepernick. Colin Kaepernick. It is a thing. Um, I don't fuck with the NFL because I thought that their stance against Colin Kaepernick, the NFL in general, is hypocritical. Mm-hmm. In yeah. general. Mm-hmm. Um, take for instance, Robert Kraft, right? Robert Kraft was one of the men who owns the Patriots and got caught in the prostitution room. Ring was one of the main dissenters about Colin getting the job. 
but he got caught with a prize. Like, so a black dude on one knee was too much, but a hole on two was all right. Yeah, yeah. This is a, like, <laughs> so yeah, this yeah. problem with the number of knees. <laughs> yeah. Where do I draw the line at? Get up. Right, uh, <laughs> one is bad, oh, two is yeah. good. Two is, <laughs> two is okay. But I, 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 I appreciate, I appreciate, like, even OJ. Remember OJ said he thought it was disrespectful that Colin did say, I'm like, hey, motherfucker, didn't you kill two people? Yeah, right. like, come yeah. on now. Thank Mr. You. Holier Than Thou, you, like, pretty you, judgmental you living in a yeah. real glass house. <laughs> <laughs> what you say he's what? He's pretty oh. judgmental for a murderer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, he probably like, like yeah. I don't know about you, I'd rather take a knee than a knife. Hell yeah, yeah. you better get up before I kill you. <laughs> you better get up but before I kill you. Where my gloves at? Yeah, <laughs> right. you know what right. I'm like, Only got one. Yeah. Oh, damn. This is ridiculous, man. I, I appreciated Nike because Nike, Nike mm-hmm. understood their market. Mm-hmm. Mar- M- Nike understood their market and they stuck with Colin Kaepernick because it made sense. Nike needs niggas. As a matter of fact, that could be the slogan. We wouldn't even get mad. No, oh, man. Oh, man. Ni- Nike needs niggas. Well, they do. I mean, <laughs> Where do I sign up? <laughs> you ain't never seen a white dude with a shoe deal. Only white dude I know with a shoe deal is Tom Brady, and that motherfucker wear Uggs. Right. <laughs> Damn. That's true. Ain't nobody get to the mall no, early yeah. to get the new Uggs. And not on the field. You know what I'm saying? You'll see dudes lining up. <laughs> like, yeah, you get That's the new Uggs. Is cold. Yeah, I, I need them I'm Uggs. I'm camping out for the Uggs. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? What about <laughs> when people say, like, oh, Colin Kaepernick sold out with the, the deal, with the, with the deal, with the Settlement. Hey man, let me tell you something. A settlement means that the best. Okay, so so even his goal, his goal was to affect some level of change, right? Mm-hmm. And even Muhammad Ali went back to doing what he did right, to before boxing. he started fighting. Right? They denied him the right to be able to do that, so they had, they had to be some kind of recompense. But Muhammad Ali couldn't work. He he gave speeches. He wrote. He yeah, acted yeah. in plays. Right. Because he couldn't do what he was doing before. This is no more than that. They are they've given him recompense for a career that they took away from him. It's fair. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It's fair. All right, I'll give you all the money back. Let me make a team. Yeah, that's fair. Yeah, they be like, no, well, yeah, just fair. take this shit. Every, <laughs> everybody before they went back, like Jesus was a carpenter, we would have went back to that if it wasn't for that little cross thing. Go, but you there know, you go. <laughs> but you want to go back to what you was doing before the fates called you. And they refused to allow him to do that. Right. It's not like that. he took a knee with the intent to be banned from right. the NFL and waiting yeah. for this settlement or to happen. Or waiting on the check, him. like, man, I can't he wait. He right. made more money. He'd have made more money being allowed to pursue uh, his career than what they gave him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, and yeah, and real. less of the the whippings. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And been, yeah. been just. Now he ain't going to have CTE. He's going to know what, the, what his name is. There you go. See? <laughs> wow. I ain't messing with you. All right. Now, Dio Hughley, and then you can do that. I can't. <laughs> We're doing our big headlines in the neighborhood right now, man. I don't know if you if you hip to this one, but uh, Jennifer Lopez, A-Rod. Mm-hmm. They saying that A-Rod has been cheating on Jennifer Lopez. Have you heard anything hey man, on this? Let me this? tell you something. A-Rod was, at one point, the highest paid athlete in the world, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You knew he 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 liked bras. He went through them, right? Mm-hmm. 50 years old, right? Mm-hmm. You, knew who, you know who he is, right? Mm-hmm. Stop. Yeah, stop. Right, she been through a couple too, right? Like, yeah. like oh, no. fair game. That's but, true. but people are like, I can't believe this. I don't know why you can't. The only reason to be an athlete or to make that level of money is to have your heart's desire. Mm-hmm. The only reason, if you could do anything you wanted, have anything you wanted. I mean, he's waited a long time. I think you know. Ultimately, they both and they and they and they you know almost what well, A-Rod's almost forty something. Yeah. She's mm-hmm. almost fifty. Yeah, mm-hmm. come on now. Like I've been with my wife for so, like. Here's the thing. Women are something else. When they're younger, um, when women get older, it's weird because they still just as dope as they ever were. But they look at other women and go, "I'm not that young anymore. That ain't never gonna happen." You got you fly anyway. Mm-hmm. Like that menopause is rough for them. They won't accelerate. <laughs> 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 I, 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 I missed my period for two weeks. I think I'm pregnant. No, you 50. Right. Yeah. 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 This is hot <laughs> here. You. <laughs> You'll never be. You should pull out. Why? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Old as you is, we have a baby. He'd be born with a driver's license. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Born on his on the high school right. stage. Like, what right. are you talking about? Like, that, I, I love them high flashes. That's my, like my set off work. Yeah, you know. <laughs> it's like <laughs> it's like having sex with a hibachi. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. Well, I'm getting hot in here. Oh, she's, in, she's, oh my she's, God. Re- she's ready to make. You, know? <laughs> you ain't got to worry about that call. To now, you've been with your queen for 30 years, man. Can you imagine? 33 years. That's Can you awesome. imagine trying to date or court someone in today's climate with no. Instagram, sliding dating DMs. sites, mm-hmm. sliding no. in DMs, everybody on the gotcha right now. I got it. Well, here's the thing. I think ultimately people got to know who you are. Mm-hmm. They get, like, I'm never going to tell you I'm an angel that I've been, done everything right. 
I don't bullshit. The only people that I lie to is the police. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going. I'm not yeah. been lying to you. No, <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and then you're supposed to lie to the police. If everybody told the truth, it'd be one police officer. You do it, yes. Yeah, you do it, yeah, yes. Yeah, you do it, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. I'll be home by three. Yeah. Before you got out the car, <laughs> sir, I went to turn myself right, in. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I did it. Come on, mm-hmm. that's the part of the game. Yeah. I say I didn't do it. You find yeah. out if I did. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? That's why they call it cat and mouse. Come on now. We're all playing our game. I keep you working. Right, right. I'm your check, you yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like, come on. But I, I, I think that there is a different level of expectations and, and, and even goals. Like, I don't know what people want these days. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't I don't get it. But it's still, I think no matter what, a woman would rather be owned and, and be in a relationship than passed around. Mm-hmm. I think they would rather be valued than not valued. And I think that never changes, but you get what you settle for. How do you do that as as a parent and having a daughter as well? Like how? Well, I have I have uh, two. My oldest daughter is getting married. Okay, and um, and uh, it's funny to me because uh, she's marrying a doctor. One of the things they always said is she didn't ever want to have babies. She's 33, 30, 32, 32. She didn't want to have kids before she got married. Mm-hmm. She, you know, she's she's done everything the way that I would have wanted. Her. Listen, I haven't. I know that I haven't always done things right because my daughters say I want a man who's just like you and nothing like you. Damn, mm. so, what does that mean? <laughs> yeah. I, mean I think that's I, the couple of this. <laughs> yeah. That is a couple but, of this. But ultimately, what, ain't that what you want? You you want the best of things in somebody, and you will stay away from the worst of things. It's mm-hmm. like a buffet. Yeah, yeah. You don't yeah, like I don't everything eat this. at the buffet. Yeah, yeah. Let me take. Let me put on my right. plate what I this. consume. I'm mm-hmm. not disappointed that you that you have an opinion like. When I score, I score big. When I don't, I don't. That's it. I, How I was that. it being DL just growing up? Because your job put you on the road a yeah. lot. My job still puts me on the road. Yeah. I the, see, every time I see you, I'm giving I know. You know, yeah. see, like, I'm surprised when I do see you. Like, oh, you in, I call you in town. <laughs> right, right, like, right. how are you going to be in town? Right. You know and what I'm saying? I'm leaving, like, ten, uh, tonight I leave at, at, at 10.45. How do you raise a family when you're so far away sometimes? But but here, here's, here's the thing that's so... Uh, what, what I connect to. We grew up and our fathers were always working. Like they never came to see you play baseball. Right, right, right. You know, plays or none of that because they went from one job to the other job to the other job. Or they weren't in the picture. Or, or yeah. They, or they weren't in the Or your dad just wasn't right. there. Right. I didn't want to. One or the other. Daddy's I'll, on the I'll, longest break I've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't he take the car with him? Yeah. He said they, we were going for milk. They said I have a father. Is that true? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I've always. I don't been. drink milk to this day. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. No, it's too far away. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Where do you go to the Milky Way? <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ, where do you get this milk at? You know what I'm saying? But like, that's <laughs> uh, I, I think. Uh, that I have, I tried to be as present as I could be when I was home. It wasn't, but one of the reasons I work like I do and stay on the road and stay right, do, because I don't want somebody to tell me they they don't want what I do anymore or to make me believe that this is all I have. Mm. I would rather be exhausted with carrying my own weight than you feed hand feeding me. Right. I don't want to be one of them dudes that's depend. I want. I, I'm right now. I depend on my perspective, my point of view. Mm-hmm. Uh, and, and my ability to to kind of to kind of uh, uh, articulate that that's what I count on. And Do you teach that to your kids sure. as well? But they don't care, right? They just, like, they, they they just wait care. for me to die so they can get some money. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> no, I'm not kidding. Do you, do you leave them anything, or do you try to spend it all before you nah, go? Nah, I'm gonna leave them something. Because I remember, man, you were talking about a house that you bought, like on a golf course or yeah, something. Yeah. That your wife was like, <laughs> "Yeah, we need this." Yeah. It was something. Yeah. My, we have a house in uh, in uh, Santa Barbara that I that I that ha- had since like the dude who I live next door. We have like a it's like a thirty parcel acre parcel of land, and I have six seven. And one of the dudes I live with next to is the dude that that arrested Michael Jackson. That dude because I live like about. Four miles from Neverland. Neverland. I heard right. that. Like, hey, so what they doing over there? She wants, it's only me. they like, where's the black dude? There he is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's actually yeah. Solvang, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, oh my yeah, God. man, this is me. Uh, hey, DL. <laughs> heard you were here last week. Right, right. You know and they know when you're there. Yeah, oh, hell yeah. It's our crime wave. Yeah, DL. <laughs> DL is here. Let me get a picture with you real quick. <laughs> it's, our, it's our very own Martin Luther King Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> but I, uh, I, uh, I want them to understand what I have done and sacrificed. Like, I, I, because here's the thing. You love your woman and your family. You leave insurance, right? Right? 
Mm-hmm. But she gonna marry another motherfucker. You think so? And then they are gonna spend your money together. Yeah. Uh, it ain't gonna be. All, I, I want them <laughs> to know the difference. Faces. And without, you know what I'm saying? Without right. hesitation, right? Because I know if I married my wife and she had some money, yeah. it would have been different if yeah. she had, if it was somebody else's money. Yeah. I'd be in Balenciagos yeah. or whatever those yeah. things Balenciaga. are. <laughs> yeah, whatever that you shit is. Past my picture, <laughs> thanks, thanks, thanks. Thanks. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Like <laughs> I need the new. <laughs> right, right, right. They done made them bit me with the new lights on it. What the hell? Truck. That's so true. All she gonna do is not. I get woman off and turn your picture around on the nightstand. <laughs> you should so see true, what I'm about man. to do here. Yeah. Come in, my picture just face down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, man. Look at like it. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Start you calling didn't do me, that for me. Calling me Kurt, the other kids. The, my kids call him daddy. You know what I'm saying? Like, but I want them to miss me when I'm going, even at the bank. Yeah. <laughs> we see it every day when daddy was here. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> be just clutch with all your money in the casket mm-hmm. with you. Like, like you know. My wife said, well, if I... Something happened to you. I don't know if I'd ever get married again. Would you get married? Well, not that day. I mean, yeah. 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 I'm going to mourn. Couple months. That'll be I'm suspicious. <laughs> yeah. You're like, I'm going to at least be at the funeral like this. <laughs> right. <laughs> Haven't like, you born. ever seen yeah. the ID channel? Are you crazy? <laughs> like, oh, hey, my gosh. Hey, you know they blame us first. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, can I have a mourning period? Right, right, right. For, and, and now you got to mourn publicly, right, too. Right, right. You go, hey, get this picture real quick. <laughs> Who is this little Puerto Rican girl? That's my nerd. Tell him, Jaleesa. Tell him. That's my life coach you know what i'm saying <laughs> she bring me out of the darkness dl did you go to the police academy i went for uh two a week 10 days so no. you were going to like i wanted to marry my old lady and they had benefits and you could get in with a ged I, yeah, so okay, got my so, GED. I like, oh, you can work with a GED. It wasn't about protect and serve. You was like, man, well, how, where part do I of me go? wanted to part of me wanted to like i look out for the community i did mm-hmm. i did uh, or uh, steal drugs and not go to jail. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Know. Whichever <laughs> like, way it right. turned out. We, <laughs> we found seven kilos. Like, right, man, right, we had right. 10. Right. <laughs> this is, I wanted to work at Rampart. But, yeah, uh, yeah, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I'm at 77. <laughs> right, right, right. So you all know it's, it's legendary. Oh, but, man. But I wanted to work. I wanted to get a job. I wanted to marry my old lady. She went my old lady then. Mm-hmm. I wanted benefits. I got accepted to the police academy. And I got shin splints, and I was like, "Fuck this! I ain't coming back." <laughs> yeah, really. So you got real shin splints. Real? I don't know if they was real. They was real enough for me not to come. Uh, yeah, you was like, "No, sir." I didn't even come. To, I didn't even call and say I wasn't coming. Just you, like, yeah, you, oh, that's that's us I though. Quit. We don't call off. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> People just look up. Like, I guess he yeah. quit. I ain't seen him in a couple days. You, you know, I I've been. Uh, it, it's funny because now that I'm on the road a lot, and 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 I'm, I'm I, you know, you're writing. I, did you see Bird Box? Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Bird Box is the dope. Like for those of you who haven't seen it, it's a uh, this invisible creature that if you see it, it'll make you kill yourself because yeah. you think your greatest fears and sorrows. And it occurred to me, this is the first thing that can make white people mind their business. Yes, yeah, you know what I'm saying. <laughs> can you imagine? Can't you can't look out the window? Won't what is no, this nigga doing? Like, oh, <gasps> won't be no barbecue Beckys anymore. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some black. <laughs> <laughs> it wouldn't affect black people because we don't see shit. No way. Yeah, Whatever. Yeah, I, yeah, I didn't see nothing, man. Stitches, get stitches. I didn't I don't see know nothing. Like, dude, this is you on the tape. That ain't me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I love that you got out with shin splints. Oh man, and you really had them. And then we have I a really president had. that say he had like something on his toes yeah. and his bones and, and got out the he, military he and now he's president. He did the exact same thing that those people did with the cheating scandal. Mm. Let somebody else worry about the rules. I get to break them. Mm-hmm. Let somebody else do all the fighting and the working hard to get in school. That's why when I when 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 this country believed that a privileged rich white dude is looking out for their best Come interests, on, man. you are you deserve it. Like now you. All those people who wanted Obamacare gone and now it's going to potentially... I, good luck at the Trump rallies with one foot because you ain't got an insulin. Yeah. I there can't wait. Right there. I there cannot wait. You get what you deserve. Big boy Big neighborhood, boy. D.L. Hughley. Thank you for coming yeah. into the always, neighborhood, man. Always. You're dope. You have a dope show. Today. Man, no. <laughs> they some hungry people, though. <laughs> yeah. 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 These what little fuckers hungry? can eat. Yeah. <laughs> Hey man, we, we didn't even say hi to him. Yeah. We just went straight to the food. We almost had to put the, uh, <laughs> right. the interview over. back ten minutes. Yeah, because they was out there making plates. Right, <laughs> my plates back there. I was working to hide it. And like, are these motherfuckers piranhas? <laughs> <laughs> And they was grabbing stuff they didn't even know what it is. What is it? Okay. <laughs> hey, hey, dude, something out there said goat cheese. Yeah. And then they tried to hand me a sandwich that would just, they say big, you gotta yeah. taste. I'm like, yeah. what is it? I think it's pork belly. Yeah. 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 It's, so think good. it's pork belly. It's it it just a BLT uh, Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's we'll yummy. call it that. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Pork belly sounds crazy to me. <laughs> pork belly's dope, man. Really, though? 
Do you, oh, you like yummy. to me? I oh, like I done, like eating. You done changed too. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. You like, yeah. Is that a problem? Like, yeah. I like the shit that got the MP next to it. Market price. Well, nigga, give me two. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> if I don't like it, yeah. I give it back. Yeah. When the bill comes, that's when you're like, oh, hey, that's, man, a, that's an MP man. Yeah. I thought I thought you sent a military police up in here. <laughs> 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 I, I'm not a wall. Well, yeah. <laughs> what did I do? I'm not even in the shirt. You Where, are did fucking you, hilarious. You stop. You never did stand up before. You know what? No, you man. Should. You know what? I got my comedy shows that I do. People would sit up, man, and they say, "Oh, you should do stand up." Now mm-hmm. I can make you laugh within 30 minutes, but I can't make you laugh for 30. No, minutes. no, that ain't there the point. Count. Right? That ain't the point. Connect it long enough. Like you, I'm telling you, I this I it talked to you a bunch of times. The difference between what you're doing now. Is that you, the only difference between what you're doing now and what you do then is your idea. You're just you're comfortable. So right. think of yourself being in this and and just go. Specific. You are hel- you write funny shit. Mm-hmm. Oh, thank you. Oh, man. If you ain't gonna do that, and, no, and, and if you ain't gonna do that, I'm stealing it all. <laughs> right. <laughs> My we new material. You know, <laughs> hey, man, you, you know what I love about that man. You know how when you give somebody a compliment or you do, and then what? What if I just start paging you like, hey right. man, I need to open up. <laughs> with you. That's not what I meant. Put me on. That's not what I meant. You you could be fucking dope. Thank you, brother. You could. Now I, I don't know if you. will Work hard. I mean, it's hard to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, I, I think you have. Be doing the same material for six years. <laughs> yeah. like, like, damn. You be like you every wanna... motherfucker, every other motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think you want to write some new minutes, big? Like, nah, yeah. nah. <laughs> no, I like this. Oh, this is a hit. I'm more like an R and B artist. I do the hits. You know <laughs> this what is what a staple. Or That's... yeah, I do my jokes, but I just point the mic out yeah. so they can finish it. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Just the worst open part, like <laughs> the worst part, is like when you like I just did a Netflix special, right? Yeah. Oh, you got. So I did that. It aired in September. So now you have it was. Was uh, uh, called Contrarian, and now I'm writing a new one, and so you have to disconnect. Like it takes a year and a half to write. Yeah, man. Wow. And, I, and, and that's a year and a half of hard going to clubs, going it every day. But the great thing about it is so many things that have happened, and all you have to do. I, well, if you, I'm telling you, be good at it. I Thank mean, you. I, you can tell the difference. You, you, mm-hmm. you, a lot of cats. It's people that got microphones. I'm like, nigga, why do you have that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like, what are you doing on stage? Right. You know what I'm saying? Microphone. Yeah. Like, Getting like, stop all ro- the bread. Yeah, stop robbing the people. <laughs> right. Well, DL, man, thank you for coming into the neighborhood. Thank sure. you for hanging out with us, man. Good Don't advice. forget DL Hughley Talk Show, Monday through Thursday, 11 p.m. on TV One. Make sure y'all check that out, man. Big Boys Big Neighborhood. Boy.